Hey y'all, I'm Zach. We're in Iron Station, North Carolina, at my shop, Heinz Designs. So this is a 1941 custom knucklehead chopper that me and Spanky built. Super classy, but we also want to do a lot of custom touches to it. We added the VL front end, custom brackets to the Bates headlight, the risers from uh, Wretched Hive, prism bars. The oil tank we did, we took some inspiration from a knucklehead air cleaner. We recessed it and did custom oil lines and just to set it back in a little bit. I really like the fender struts and how everything ties together. The shifter, the fender struts, the chain guard. They all have small little step ribs in them just to kind of keep it flowing together. So this right here is a 1986, <laughs> 1986 model, uh, Sean Cadell, AKA Spanky. I always think I'm going to build a crusty bike and it just never ends up that way. Um, as you can tell, um, polish, chrome, just the whole nine yards and the paint. I feel like that's the, always the hardest part about building bikes. In the past, it's always just been black frames for me. I feel like it, if you go a color, solid color, you got to go all in. Jay at Good Times Reform in Cincinnati, Ohio, been a buddy of mine for a while and He's like, I'm done painting bikes. And I, I begged him and begged him. I was like, come on, you got one more in you. You got one more in you. And he's like, all right, bring it up. And I told him the colors and kind of a couple things that I wanted. I wanted definitely some fades and some pearls. And yeah, he killed it. Building this bike with Zach, to me, it's about the friendships and like getting to talk every day, getting to pick his brain about certain things. You know, this stuff's just, whatever in life to me it's you know that's the a conversation right yeah yeah, yeah that's just the conversation sure. right right and i think it just molds us together even more as a as a friend and you know in life the older you get that's that gets harder your core set of friends gets narrower and narrower so i've really cherished the times that i've had building this bike and this is just the extra bonus you know I'm hoping to get out to Born Free this year. I have attended that show. It's definitely the best show in the world. Always been awesome getting to see all my friends from all over the world and um, getting to see some of the best of the best bikes. And I would love this bike at Born Free. I think it would be awesome to get to ride it on the West Coast and you know go down Pacific Coast Highway and then be at Born Free during the weekend and just have fun.